water is essential for human beings' life. Our daily life is consuming a lot of water, but also discharges a lot of waste water. For example, in 2014, only in China, near 14 billion tons of waste water was discharged. Waste water contained many pollutants like organics, nitrogen, phosphorus, bacteria, caused serious water pollution. While over the world, near 4,000 children die every day for pure water quality, and 700 million people are suffering from water shortage problem. For eliminating water pollution, many wastewater treatment plants have been constructed, but limited by the traditional process. Normally, the effluent cannot meet the standard for water reuse, and the huge energy is consuming by aerator, pumps, and so on. So here, we are propose a research idea that is uh, innovative wastewater management try to recycling wastewater and recover energy contained in the wastewater, try to maximum use of wastewater resources. So uh, we can imagine someday you are lost yourself in an outdoor of exploration, running off water. There is a river in front, but apparently it's too dirty to drink. If there are such devices can devise the dirty water into the drinkable water, that must be very excited. In our lab, commonly used is a membrane technology. The membrane is a thin film with a porous structure during the filtration of wastewater, suspended bacteria and other impurities can be rejected. While water can pass through the membrane, produce the clean water. So with this advantage, membrane technology can be combined with other treatment process. For example, we can use a membrane technology combined biotechnology together for an innovative technology, namely membrane bioreactor with the stable efferent with high quality can be produced. The efferent of membrane bioreactor normally is free of bacteria and that can be reused for toilet flushing and the landscape irrigation and also can be reused for industrial water supply and even potable water if the deep treatment was further applied. Carbon as a main pollutant in waste water is a potential source of energy. But in traditional wastewater treatment process, the carbon is degraded by adding external energy, not recovering. If we use a microorganism as a biocatalyst, recovering the carbon becomes uh, possible. Microorganisms usually have a very small size and a huge surface area, and while they exist in land, water, atmosphere, they have a very high uh, metabolic ability. By using this powerful microorganism, chemical energy in wastewater can be recovered in different ways. For example, using bioelectro system can directly produce electricity, and if we use the anaerobic digestion, we can produce the methane, hydrogen gas, and then we can get the simultaneously with water treatment and energy recovery. Recently, one rapidly developing direction, that is uh, electricity generation, some special bacteria can oxidize the organics in wastewater and simultaneously produce the electricity. Produced electricity can be recovered and be utilized in situ in wastewater treatment itself, reduce its energy consumption. So through membrane technology and biotechnology respectively, wastewater can be recovered for recycling water and the source in wastewater as the energy be recovered. For practical application of this technology, we still have uh, many challenges. For example, we need to develop a more robust membrane and a more effective membrane forming treatment technology for wider application. And for bioelectro system, we also need effort to enhance the power production and reduce the equipment cost. So through 
break this technique challenge, we hope future new wastewater management model, the wastewater is no longer wasted and should be resource and energy. Thank you for your attention.